Hey guys, welcome back to the uh Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be making even more commands. Since uh uh I I want to show you guys how to make some more commands and like how to like really navigate around Discord.js because uh obviously we can't just have one command. So so we're gonna start off with an avatar command. We're gonna be making a few commands this this time. So you can just copy and paste this from from your say because it's it's basically the same layout. Uh, we can change the usage a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, we can uh, all right. We, yeah, we can change the usage. So it says the brackets basically mean it's optional. So uh, so we're gonna put a user since we want it to be able to. If there's no user here, then we'll just get the the person who sent it. We're going to get the avatar of the person who sent it. And we're going to change the description. It's going to be uh, get the avatar of whoever you choose. And now uh, we'll be able to... The way you get the, uh, the avatar of somebody... First of all, we need to make our user variable. So we can do that by making user and then message and then uh, mentions. And then uh, we go to users, and then first. Now this might not always exist because we might not always have the uh, the argument. So then we do or if it's null, if it doesn't exist, then we just set it to the message author. So from there, all you do is do you do user dot, and then you do avatar URL. Now this isn't this isn't just a variable. This isn't just a property. We can also add options. Now here, what you want to do is you want to set the uh, you want to set the size. The size, particularly, you want to set to about uh, 1024 or so. That's what I I generally type. Uh, I I usually want to keep it on 1024. And then there's some other ones. I think there's uh uh. It, there's there's like an image type one. I don't recall it right now, but you can set the image type and dynamic. Dynamic's an important one because if you were to set the uh, the type of the avatar, then you would want to have it so it's like PNG and dynamic basically makes it so if the profile picture is animated, then it will automatically turn it into a GIF. So uh we can make I don't know it's it's something I forget what it was but it was uh, it sets the type like the, uh, the extension of the image it's like P PNG or JPEG uh, or if you if you decide to include uh, text in here like say you want to say user dot tag it's like you want to get the user's name you can go users uh, avatar colon and then these this means bold the whatever sur surrounded in two asterisks it's bold and then here after after the message like there's a comma right here then you can go here and you can type you can first you make bra brackets then you can make files and in here you would do um, you would make a you would make it's an array so you would go here it'd be attachment and then here is where you would put the avatar you the avatar url and then you can also give it a name but i won't do that because sometimes it screws with whether it's a gif or not and we don't want that so that's how you would do it with uh um how you would do it with the uh, whatever it is it's how you would do it with text without text you would need to obviously you, you could just put it in as the message not like the options so there you go uh, we can go and we can test our command right here so let's just we can just X out of that and then we can go down here do run.bat and we should be good we can go over here, avatar, 
and there we go. We have we have whoever's avatar we want. We can get anyone's avatar. Um, now another command we can use is the help command. The help command would be very useful for us. So we can just copy our code from avatar. Uh, we have to change the usage a little bit, so it would be command. And then right here in the description, you'd say, uh, get the help you need with commands. And then there's an easy way where you can loop through all of the commands. So we're going to, we're going to make a variable called result res, and we're going to just give it right there. Now we're going to make a for loop. We're also going to uh, require our main class, so tutorial. We're just going to call the variable tutorial because why not? And then to get out of this folder and into our main folder, we do dot dot and then slash. Then we go tutorial.js or tutorial, it doesn't matter. <sighs> and then we go let command of uh, tutorial. Oh, wait, no, we want to do let entry of tutorial commands entries and then we can iterate through this so basically uh, entry one entry one will be our it will be the name of our command and then the the following ones will be our it will be it would be our actual file so we can get the uh, we made these parameters for a reason, so we can just do params, entry, one, and then params. And this will get us our parameters for the file. And from here, we can just go, we can just append onto the string, concatenate, and go, uh, first we'll start off with the name of the, we'll start off with the name of the command, so entry zero. Uh, that will get us the command name. We can put this in bold if we want. That's what I generally like to do. Oh, and we also have to have a title for this. So we can, we do, this will italicize it and bold it. So we can go like that and we can go uh, client uh, user and then we'll get the tag of the user and then we'll do help. So it will say tutorial help and then here we are from here we will go we will do uh, backslash n which will line break and that basically means it will go into the next line oh we also want a line break here because uh, we don't want it to be on the same line but anyway now we just now we just from here we just add our uh, parameters so it would be we would say description and then, uh, and then we would do params dot description since that's our that's our parameters, or that's our description. And then we would also add usage, so params dot usage. Oh, and yes, we need to line break after all of these. We need a line break after this one. No, we don't. Um. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, actually let's line break here and don't line break right here. So then it will just, uh, it'll be more fluid with how uh, we want this to look. All right, so now we should have all the commands and then we can just send it as one big message. And now when we go, we can restart the bot. So our bot is ready. And then if we go help. Now we can see all of our help for our bot. And it's beautiful. So there we go. That gets us our help. Um do I have any other ideas for today? Uh we can make a reload command and we uh we can make a command management command, which will basically allow us to control our commands in total. It will allow us to reload and unload. Luckily for us, I have already coded it so that we can unload and reload, unload 
load we can load and reload commands on the spot so we just take out this code we can say uh, reloads your commands and then it will be command and reload uh, command or um, load command or unload command this will allow you to insert commands into the bot without having to X out of it and then restart it so what you would do is you would just go uh, first you would check to see what the what this is right here so we would go well first of all we want to make sure that the there is that the the argument length is 2 so it would be 1 2 so if it's not 2 then we'll return and send a message saying uh, improper er, improper arguments and of course we don't want everybody to do this command so we can do a little check here if you go over to discord and if you have the developer settings on uh, I'm not sure where you can get them but if you go over into discord and you click on the developer settings and you uh, right click on somebody's name you can copy their ID and um, so say I can find my ID so I, I copy my ID and then I can check over here to see if the author ID is equal to my ID and if it isn't oops if it is not equal then just say you cannot use this command we actually want to switch these around since it looks better <sighs> alright so there we go now and now we can uh, we can make a sw or we can make a switch you can make a switch and it will check to see uh, what this what this argument is so if it's reload load or unload uh, we want to make it two lowercase so it supports uh, so it doesn't matter what the casing is it's not case sensitive uh, so reload so for reload we would do uh, we would take the name of the um, of the command so it would be what is it um, uh, arguments one two lowercase remember we want to always keep it on lowercase and then we would check to see if the name exists so we would see tutorial that commands that has make sure this is imported because it if you don't copy the right one it might not bring this over so in case you don't have this in your file you should you should put it in there but there you go from here you do tutorials that commands that has and then you would see if it has the name and we would see if it doesn't have have the name so if it doesn't have the name we can just say that command does not exist and then if it does exist then we can do tutorial that commands dot uh, unload because it's actually it's actually part of the unload command or the unload method so we would do the name and then we obviously don't want it to reload so false uh, actually we can merge unload and reload so we can go case unload as well and then we can make a conditional statement right here to see if it equals unload so we can go if args to lowercase equals reload and then if it does equal reload then we'll say true oh wait no we actually don't need to do that because it's just a boolean in itself so if it equals reload then it will it will make it true all right so there we go um now that it's unloaded or reloaded now we would uh message channel send we would say we'd actually want to return here since we don't want it to continue on 
You can put return on the next line, by the way, but I just like to keep it on the same line as the Mrs. Duck channel dot send. And then from here, you would go, um, you would say, or you can make a conditional here to see if, uh, see if it's unloaded or reloaded. So you would go args to lowercase equals equals reload. If it does, if it equals reload, then we'll say reloaded, or if it doesn't, we'll say unloaded. And then we'll concatenate and we'll say uh, reloaded, unloaded, and then we'll say the name of the command. So it would be uh, name. We, yes, okay. So there we go. Now we have our unload. And now we want to make load. So this will basically take a command from this file or from this directory and it will attempt to load it. Now there are multiple different things that can happen here. I want to show you, oh actually we need to check to see if it failed to do, if it failed to unload or reload. So we would go, we would define this as actually like a variable. So f, we'll just call it f. And if, if, if it's false, then we'll say failed to reload slash unload command. And then the load you would do, actually we can take this variable out. So we would go like that. And we would, from here we would check, we would check the opposite actually. We would check to see if it has the name. And then we would say that commands, that command already exists. And then we would, this is a number. So we would do tutorial commands load and then we would load the name this will try to find the command name in this directory right here this commands directory or wherever your commands directory is but it will try to find it in your commands directory and uh yeah we'll have a load name so if okay so what this basically means is zero if it returns zero then it's okay if it returns one then that means it doesn't exist or two it already exists we've already checked for if it already exists so we don't have to worry about that but if i equals one which is if i recall correctly it is it doesn't exist then we'll say no file with that name exists and then if and then if it's uh, i equals two, we have already checked for i equals two. So if it's i equals one, and we'll just return so channel send loaded loaded name as a command, and boom. So there we go. So now we have everything that we need here. So um. Now we should just be able to load it in. Uh, where's my, all right. So we can close out of that, run.bat, and we can go over here, commands, uh, should be able to reload. Reload. Uh, All right, so we should just be able to uh, should just be able to reload like a command. So let's say say should just reload the say command. Now I would show you how to do this, but I don't have the time at the moment, so I'll save that for next episode. So thank you for watching very much, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.